I didn't want to go to school because I really struggled. I couldn't read until I come to Metro One and discovered that there's a reading pen that reads the words out. So initially what we did was we bought um, the first exam pack we bought and we met with our English team, so all of our teachers who teach English, and we asked them to start using them in their lessons. So I was introduced to the e-reader pen by the learning support team and uh, it's great for me because it's easy accessible, I can put it in my bag and every time I need it I can just get it out, put my earphones on and then I'm not disturbing anybody else in the class and then I'm getting on with my own work. When I'm um, doing the assessments for access arrangements I'm finding more and more that people are saying that they had a reader at school but actually they don't like somebody sitting there with them and actually it makes them feel different to everybody else. They just want to be treated the same as everybody else. Now I'm in college and I use a reader pen now uh, during exams. I like to have that with me to put my headphones in. I found it to be very, very good. Um, I don't have a person sitting next to me helping me during the exams. I have the exam reader to do that for me. It's given me better results as well, um, which I'm very pleased about. I was very nervous and I've gained a lot more confidence by using that reader pen. We're actually getting students now that are coming to us that have used them at school, so they almost expect us to have them now here at college because if they've got something and they've used something successfully at school, then why wouldn't they want to use the same thing at college? You don't need JCQ approval for them to be able to use a reader pen, which, you know, whereas versus anybody who does uh, awards access arrangements will know that when you do an assessment, the amount of paperwork that comes alongside with that assessment is, is massive, really. Um, the beauty for us is with reader pens is you can award them as long as the student's confident user, it's their normal way of working and, and actually by loaning them out of our study hub they are actually making that part of their normal way of working. You can give somebody all the time in the world with regards to uh, extra time but if somebody can't read or can't comprehend a text then actually it doesn't matter how much extra time you give them, they're still not going to be able to pass it. Ultimately, we're trying to prepare people for going on for university or work um, where, you know, the chances are then they're, they're not going to get that same level of support. So, um, and particularly in the workplace, you know, if, if we can encourage students to be taking pens into the workplace, as we have got students that do, um, then actually we're empowering them for their future. One day a week I work in a salon and uh, the pen is really helpful there uh, because if there's anything I don't understand when I'm mixing hair dye, uh, I can use the pen to read the instructions and make them more clear for myself. Uh, I told my employer when I started that I had this pen, so therefore they are aware and let me use it any time that I need to. We have students that come out of exams from using them feeling on top of the world because they genuinely think they've done better than they've ever done before when they've used one. When I first applied for the hairdressing course, I didn't think there'd be as much theory base as there is and this made me quite nervous because I was worried about customers and how I would respond to them. Uh, but with the help of the college and the reader pen, this made me more confident and helped me pass my first level course and hopefully now my second year course.